Agra is a city on the banks of the Yamuna River in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, about 230 kilometers southeast of the national capital Delhi and 330 kilometers west of the state capital, Lucknow. Agra, City of the Taj, a gateway to architectural excellence. Agra is a city offering a discovery of the beautiful era. Agra has a rich history reflected in its numerous monuments dotted in and around the city. The earliest citation for Agra comes from the mythological era where the epic Mahabharata referred Agra as Agravana, meaning paradise in Sanskrit. Ptolemy, the famous 2nd century AD geographer, was the first person who referred Agra with its modern name. The modern Agra was founded by Sikandar, Lodi, ruler of Lodi dynasty in the 16th century. It was when Shah Jahan descended the Mughal throne that Agra reached the zenith of architectural beauty. Though the wonderful allure of the Taj Mahal attracts people from around the world over to Agra. It is not a standalone attraction. The city offers a trail of fascinating tombs and mausoleums to explore. Acclaimed for its lavish crafts like pietra dura, work rugs and leather goods, and the luxurious perta. Agra equally caters well to Shopa looks and foodies are the major tourist attraction to visit. First is Taj Mahal. One of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal stands tall at the south bank of the river Yamuna in Agra. Taj Mahal or the icon of love is one of the best places to visit in Agra and the most popular tourist destinations in India. This is also considered to be an epitome of the Mughal architecture. The ivory-white marble mausoleum was built by Shah Jahan for his favorite wife, Mumtaj. The monument is now where the tombs of the king and queen lie. Taj Mahal has also been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for being a masterpiece recognized all across the world. Take a walk inside the Taj Mahal and you will feel as if you're walking through history. The ornate architecture and alluring designs will transport you to the kingly times and leave you dazed. The Taj Mahal is widely considered one of the most beautiful buildings ever created. The exquisite marble structure in Agra, India is a mausoleum, an enduring monument to the love of a husband for his favorite wife. It's also an eternal testament to the artistic and scientific accomplishments of a wealthy empire. Shah Jahan, the king of the world, took control of the Mughal Empire, throne in 1628. Very much in love with the queen, he donned Mumtaj Mahal, or chosen one of the palace. The poets at Agra's Mughal court said her beauty was such that the moon hid its face in shame before her. The Mughals were at the peak of their power and wealth during Shah Jahan's reign, and India's rich load of precious gems yielded him much wealth and power. But he was powerless to stop Pumtaj Mahal's death during childbirth in 1631. Legend has it that she bound him with a deathbed promise to build her the most beautiful tomb ever known. Promise or no, Shah Jahan poured his passion and wealth into the creation of such a monument. Next is Agra Fort, a massive red sandstone fort located on the banks of River Yamuna was built under the commission of Emperor Akbar in 1565 and was further built by his grandson Shah Jahan. The fort, semi-circular on plan, is surrounded by a 21.4 meter high fortification wall. The fort was built primarily as a military structure 
parts of it are still reserved under Indian Army. Shah Jahan transformed it into a palace. Later, it became his gilded prison for eight years after his son Aurangzeb seized power in 1658. The fort houses a maze of buildings, including vast underground sections. The Amar Singh Gate to the south is the sole entry point. A path leads straight from here up to the large Moti Masjid. Just before this is the open Diwan e Am where Shah Jahan listened to people's petitions or issues. A small staircase just to the left of Diwan e Am throne leads up to a large courtyard. To the left is a beautiful white marble Najina Masjid. Other places to see within the fort are Diwan e Kas, which once housed Shah Jahan's legendary Peacock Throne and the Diamond Ho Inur Shish Mahal, a palace with, with walls inlaid with tiny mirrors, and Kas Mahal, the white octagonal tower and palace. In the south of the fort, there is a huge red sandstone Jahangir Palace built by Akbar, probably for his son Jahangir. The fort is a historical fort in the city of Agra. It was the main residence of the emperors of the Mughal dynasty till 1638 when the capital was shifted from Agra to Delhi. The Agra fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is about 2.5 km northwest of its most famous sister monument, the Taj Mahal. The fort can be more accurately described as a world city. It mad daula or the baby Taj of Agra. The reason why the, tam the tomb of It mad daula is called baby Taj is pretty self-evident. Yes, it looks like a miniature version of the Taj Mahal. However, it has its own charm and elegance. Located on the eastern bank of the Yamuna River, the tomb of Mirza Giyas Beg has a resplendent architecture and intricately carved jollies or window screens. It is one of the topmost places to visit in Agra near the Taj Mahal. This was the first structure to be built entirely out of marble stones with pietra dura and make use of the famous pleasure gardens. Interestingly, this monument was built even before the Taj Mahal and Taj was inspired by this mausoleum. But later, Baby Taj took a back seat when Taj became the sinusure of all eyes, though it's widely acknowledged that it is more delicate in appearance due to its particularly rich carved marble, jellies, or lattice screens. This was the first Mughal structure to make extensive use of Pietra Dura and the first thing to be built on the banks of the Yamuna which until then had been a sequence of beautiful pleasure gardens. Though most of the tourists visit only the Taj Mahal and Agra Port, skipping baby Taj is a huge miss. Plan your day with the aim of spending the evening there watching the sunset. It is 4 km from Agra Port, 2 km from Taj Mahal, and you can get into an auto or tuk-tuk to reach there. From Taj Ganj, which is near the Taj Mahal, you might need to get into two autos. You can combine a trip here with Chini, Karauza, and Meta Bag, all on the East Bank. While Taj Mahal is associated with a love story, the Itmad Ud Daula's tomb is a loving tribute from a daughter who grew up to be the emperor's wife and one of the most famous women of her time to her beloved father. Architecture. It might be Daula's tomb is so famous because of the marble jelly works considered more delicate than any other structure of Agra, including Taj Mahal. The main element of It Madhud Daula tomb structure is the dome, which is similar to Persian architecture. This tomb was the first to use Pietra Dura style decoration in semi precious stones. Every surface of the structure is decorated with motifs of flora, geometric structures, trees, and other 
Inlaid stone works are used to enhance the beauty of the interior of the structure. The tomb was built outside the wall of Agra made with marbles. The mausoleum is placed on a large red sandstone. Yeah, yeah, sure. And here is one of the famous street food, the Pani Puri. It is a deep bread, a fried hollow spherical shell about 1 inch or 25 millimeter in diameter filled with a combination of finely diced potato, onion, peas, and chickpea. It is a common street food and it is often uh, spiced with tamarind chutney, chili powder, or chaat masala. Sikandra is a place where the tomb of the great Mughal emperor stands. The Sikandra fort is a beautifully engraved tomb with intricate detailing. It is made of a special red-colored sandstone which imparts a rich look to it. The Sikandra fort is a vast edifice significantly representing the emperor's broad and enriched mind. It is also known as the Mausoleum of Akbar. It is situated in a small town near Agra which is called Sikandra. Akbar's tomb is one of the excellent examples of the blend of both Hindu and Muslim architectures. Of Akbar, though Islamic in spirit is a blend of styles, the magnificent entrance use of exquisite patterns, excellent jelly work, intricately perforated decorative stone screens, fine Persian style calligraphy, the Karba garden layout, with the main building at the center are representative of Islamic influence. India's craftsmen were masters of stone carving and the art of inlay, preferring graceful organic motifs from nature to the more formal, geometric, and stylized floral designs of Persian origin. Is Chini Karuza. It is a funerary monument, Rauza in Agra, India containing the tomb of Afzal Khan Shirazi, a scholar and poet who was the Grand Vizier of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. The tomb was built in 1635. The Chini Karuza is situated just one kilometer north of Idmad Udawla's tomb on the eastern bank of Yamuna River in Agra and two kilometers away from the Taj Mahal. The outer walls of the monument is decorated with glass tail and hence the name Chini Caruza. Next is the Meta Bank. This park originally built by Emperor Babur as the last in a series of 11 parks on the Yamuna's East Bank fell into disrepair until it was still more than a huge mound of sand. To protect the Taj from the erosive effects of the sand blown across the river, the park was reconstructed and is now one of the best places from which to view the Great Mausoleum. The gardens in the Taj are perfectly aligned with the ones here and the view of the Taj from the fountain directly in front of the entrance gate is a classic. It's a popular spot at sunset. The ticket office closed 30 minutes before sunset, so don't leave it too late. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom.